Now, I have an announcement to make. <laughs> I have an announcement. I have an announcement. Well, we have finally made it to the first antique store here in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm happy to say that I'm uh, shopping today with Vintage Vinny. And you can see the backside of him there. There he is. And down the aisle somewhere is uh, David and Tammy and Dee, all friends of mine. I'm probably sure most of you are familiar with their channels. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop. And uh, I'm going to purchase this 1939 New York World's Fair ashtray. The communication building. Very Art Deco looking. Now, uh, <clears throat> I forgot what I was gonna say. Pardon me, I have a little bit of a uh, in my throat. I think it's maybe some kind of an allergy thing. I feel fine. And I'm gonna do a lot of shopping while we're here and some filming and some thrifting and hopefully show you some things that will jog memories. Oh my gosh, like these things, where you try to get the ball into, uh, oh wow. Remember those. Well, I grabbed a pink reamer. I rarely find pink. It's only $4. Oh, I didn't say pink, pink, you stink. Look at the frog. It's got a pretty whopper of a chip on the spout, but I'm gonna forgive that and kind of grind it down a little bit. I think I'll, I'll forgive it uh, because I don't ever find pink reamers. Pardon me, beg your pardon? Is that candle looking thing? Ew, ew, get off of that. Ooh, I can feel it now. I know exactly, does it have cigarette burns on it? No, I don't see Yes, it does. Ooh, I remember these. It's not my favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh who remembers this sort of like velveteen upholstery is that what I it's do. called i remember that yeah i know creepy <laughs> not you the upholstery <laughs> well we've just finished up at melwood antique mall uh believe it or not it's on melwood avenue 1860 melwood avenue louisville kentucky and this place is massive many 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 beautiful pieces of quality furniture glass rugs uh, you've got to see it and I would recommend it if you're in this town I have found a nice little bench to rest on for a minute usually I'm the last one shopping but there's four other people lingering around upstairs somewhere and I'm gonna rest right here until they finish well, be sure to do thrift hauls, uh, antique hauls at some point to show you the treasures that we have found. But right now we're just enjoying time with each other as friends and shopping. And we're so glad that you're spending time with us as well. Because we do consider you <laughs> as friends. We do. We sat around lunch talking about you. <laughs> you know, the different names that we know, the people that are in the chats and, and um, leave us encouraging comments and so forth. We, we do appreciate that, we really do. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna take a little cat nap. Now, I have an announcement to make. 
<laughs> I have an announcement. I have an announcement. <laughs> All right, I kept calling this thing a witch, 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 witch. But David says it's called a kielbasa. You know, the vendor says it's a kielbasa, oh. a fuche kielbasa. That's a the sausage is a kielbasa. All right, get. Let's see if you can get it. Let's see if you can do it. Witch, 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 witch. No, and it's a twist. Twi well, it, Remember, it, it, it counts them up and down because it. Yeah, but get us. All right, let's see. Let's see if he can do it. I bet he can't do it. The whole world. He's got it. It doesn't sound good with. Is that Springsteen behind us? <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble. I would say buy the doggone thing if it weren't thirty-five bucks. <laughs> Just to take it home and... Just to play it in the back seat. Just to play it. Which, yeah, I can sit in the back seat because you're driving. I can be so annoying. Well, I can be annoying anyway. <laughs> but I can really be annoying with that thing. <laughs> okay. Look at the uh, Pelicans. <laughs> They're only $12. <laughs> Look what I got. You'll see. Let me hit. Let me see. Do okay, so he thinks he's so smart because... Off camera, he went and watched an instructional video. So now he knows how to do it. Okay, we're all holding. Are we ready? Bated breath. Three, two. On the edge of my seat. One. And that's Sold. <laughs> do it. Oh, the dramatics. Oh my word. Have you? There he goes. Oh, no, wait a minute. Okay, I think. Lawrence Welk, watch out. I said he's shop. Okay, I'm telling you what. I think we should each pay 50. Come on, David, $15 each. Let's take the thing with us. Just think how much we can annoy D for the, for the week. Oh dear. I don't want to hear any more. Right? Now, look at this skinny. Thank you. Look at that skinny china closet. I have never seen such. What? Do you see something you want? What is it? Uh oh, he's looking. <gasps> it's the. It's it. You're gonna have to. You better start talking because we're right under the radio. Look at that. Uh, hello. Do you know who killed JR yet? Buy low and sell high. <laughs> oh, that is, is that, that's like 1972? This has gotta be, no. 75? Well, how much is it? 60s, 70s. 60s and 70s in a wooden cabinet. $51. How specific? $51. $51. Make 30% over the margin. And it's in an oak cabinet as well. Well, I'm going to go back to my china closet. Look at this little tiny china closet. And it says, come on now. It's this antique inlaid hand carved china cabinet. Now this is a nice example of depression era furniture. That's probably 15 inches across right there inside. Not all of the furniture of the depression era was cheap, cheap, cheap. They did do some good things. And that seems like an upper middle of the line piece of furniture with all the different, maha all the different uh, exotic veneer is what I'm trying to say in the inlays. And this would have been not a cheap piece of furniture even in the 19... S circa 1930. Um, probably for a smaller house with a small dining room. Very nice. Now that's a nice display case. I really like it. It sort of looks like it's see-through, but there's a solid mirror on the back and you're seeing the front doors there reflected in the back. So the shelves are not, well, it looks like the shelves are in there. Maybe they're stacked in there on the bottom. I don't see a price on that. Now that I would definitely call a curio or a whatnot kind of a cabinet. <clears throat> it might be English. Look at these mid-century tables. 
It's kind of dark where I am in this spot and I'm right underneath the loudspeaker <clears throat> uh, for the radio that's playing. So I kind of have to keep running my lips. Look at the sinks. So we're still in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we're close to the downtown area actually today and uh, I will do my best to get to put the names in of the places where we are in case you ever uh, find yourselves in this vicinity. This is a nice big shop and we're having a really nice time. So everybody kind of splits up and goes their own way while we're shopping. Oh, there he is. I was David. I wanted to ask him a question. Did you see all these ashtrays? Look at these. Oh, you just got up here. Well, look at all these ashtrays. I'm going to show everybody this. Look at the snarling cats ashtray in chrome. I've never seen that before. No. Do you like it? Wow. Wait a minute. I know. Then the Snarling Cats is $20. These are those Pinchette uh, by Hamilton. So the Pelican, the Elephants, the Donkey mm -hmm. or Donkey. <laughs> Don donkey. Donkey. And here's the Dash Hound. I think. And look at the bridge set. Always in fours. In there. And then different ones. I, I'm gonna buy one. I'm just gonna I just picked out one that I want to purchase. And it's this one right here with the two deco elephants. And then flip that thing in the middle. And in, in right here. I guess that you just put you could put one cigarette in that? Or one match? Maybe what a you, match? A couple of matches. A couple of matches in that little thing. So, I just want one, because I've been finding a lot of deco things today that I'll show you I've already taken downstairs, but what about the snarling cats? $20. I bet if I don't buy this, David, somebody's going to wish that I had, right? Probably. Yeah. All right, well, I'll let you look at those. Those, they'll probably clean up if there's, if there's a... Uh, you know, conden not condensation. What am I trying to think of? Okay. The Victor Credenza. And that was the name of the model. And this was expensive when it was new in the late 1920s. Now, if you'll notice, look at the right and then look at the left. What do you not see? You don't see a crank because believe it or not, you could get these from the Victor factory electrified and it was extra money. This is the cord here <clears throat> that would go uh, onto the back. And then all these vents are here so uh, to let the heat out. But uh, there's an exponential uh, horn that's all wrapped up inside. Here's the grill, we can see the grill cloth needs to be replaced. But there's a little bit, you can just barely see, the horn wraps around itself in there. And the sound on these is absolutely amazing. The fidelity is uh, hard to beat. They, on the side here, that was difficult to get open, is where there would be record storage. Oh, what have we got in there? We've got one uh, down in Happy Valley. All right, let's put that back in. I think I've lost my focus. Okay, so a Victor made in Camden, New Jersey, a Victrola, yeah. And there's the tag you can see. I just thought you might like to see one that's actually electrified. Uh, yeah, these, these used to be a really big deal and they would sell for, oh, 800, 1500. But the collecting world has, uh, you know, things have changed. I guess I, I did already show you my New York World's Fair ashtray, but I'm also purchasing this. This is a piece of blue glass and the deco ship sits right on top of it. And that's the way it was manufactured. And it's just a decorative item. I've had something like this before and I'm happy to find this one. It was very reasonably, very reasonably priced at only $11. That's a great 1930s deco item. 
What do you think? Yes. Now listen here, old curiosity shop. Where's my tracking number? Where's my tracking number? <laughs>